In this episode, we'll show you how to incorporate your branding into Canva. With Canva for Nonprofits, you can create your own brand kit using the menu on the left, clicking Brand Kit. Here you can upload all the logos that you are going to use in your creations. Here are TechSoup logos, logos of our projects and our partners. To upload more, you just click on the plus button and you choose the proper image from your own library. There are not only logos that you will always have in a folder near to you, you can also put your brand colors and even the few palettes of them. This is the Texu brand colors and this is the second palette of our meet and code project. You can easily change the name, just click and write and easily upload a new color using the, again the plus button, putting the number of your uh, of the color that you need. For example, this one, and we have it. To delete it, you just need to find the cross button and it's gone. The third amazing thing is your branding fonts uh, that you can put three main ones, the headings, subheading font and body. If there are fonts that you cannot find in Canva itself, you can always upload uh, your branding font from the files from your computer. So uh, when you have it all done, all set, check how easy it is to create a design when you don't need to look for a new all the time for your branding colors, uh, your fonts or logos because everything is in one place. Let's create the first page of a presentation for example. It's opening, it's blank, totally white. Uh, and let's use our uh, branding. Here on the left, you have this logos button, all the logos that you use. So let's find TechSoup Europe. Here it is. Uh, we can put the white one, put it on the right place of the design. I would like to change the background, so I click on the background and I go to this uh, palette of colors and as you can see I already have my branding colors set on the project colors and some other. Let's put this white one, this <laughs> blue one. Oh, and now the logo is not visible, so let's delete it and we'll put also from the logo folder the white one. Here it is. Moving to the proper side. And now I can put some text. So let's click on the design and let's click T. And now I can write text Europe. You cannot see it, me neither. So let's make it bigger with my mouse. Or let's edit it with the editor, which is here in the upper menu. Let's make it bigger. Uh, is it TechSoup branding font? Let's check. We can always change it here. As you can see, here I recently used the first one. And the next position is brand fonts, which is Replica Pro Bold, Replica Pro Regular Helvetica Lite, as it was set in the brand kit in the very beginning. Let's change it. And here it is. Again, changing the color. I have the whole palette of protective colors. Let's make it white. And it's easy. I don't need to find my branding guidelines in the file, open it, or search. Uh, for the proper color, the proper font, and I don't need to upload every time uh, our logo because everything is set directly here in Canva. And uh, let's make it a template that my members of my team can use in the future. Maybe it's not the, the prettiest one. Let's put some more 
uh, elements. Uh, here are more designs. Elements are here on the left side in TechSoup, our branding uh, shape uh, is a circle. So we'll put a few circles. Uh, the branding colors, of course. And let's say that this is uh, the template of the um, beginning of our presentations. How to do it? I design it, then I click on the three dots here on the right up corner and I'm looking for a button called template. Here it is. Click on a template and you can publish it as a template in a folder that you like, that you already created with, for your team. This is not Twitter, not YouTube. This is TechSoup Europe. So add, publish, and I can check how it looks like. View template. As you can see, I'm already in our folder called templates. You will find all folders here on the left, all your folders. There is a folder TSE and my TechSoup Europe, let's change the name. TechSoup Europe presentation template is already here. I can share the link with my team members. They will click and they can use it. Or some graphic designer or other member can edit this original and add new pages. So this is for me. I can use it. This is a copy, so it won't be changed by anybody. But if I come back and I would like to edit original, uh, copy the page and add some new shapes or change something as the second option for the uh, opening slide. For example, like this. Give me a second, it's a little bit too big. So let's make it look nicer. Here it is. This one will be blue, navy blue. And as you can see, this is uh, now it's text of your PPT uh, template. Okay, we refresh the, the website. And now we have these two pages to be chosen by any member of my team that it's going to use it. And I clicked edit, so this is a copy, and it will it won't be my new template, it will be the design which I can find in my recent designs or all designs folder. Yeah? Here it is. Oh my god, I opened it five times. <laughs> so this is the difference. And it's also so convenient for your team if you have different templates for different social media, different marketing uh, designs here in folders. There's an order. I know exactly what I would like to publish on Instagram when we have a customer review, some tours, promotion of webinar, there are different templates and I don't need to create from the scratch every time but everything is uh, here so when a new volunteer is coming or a new employee they don't need to think what kind of design I would like to uh, prepare because you are, every organization is a brand, every organization has a brand kit and every organization should have a few templates that uh, people can recognize by your colors, fonts, yeah, and design. Uh, and you can create them here in your folders and everybody should use it. It's so convenient, so easier and faster for your organization and for your job. If you liked this tutorial, follow TechSoup Europe channels 
for more educational content. We at TechSoup make activists and non-profits job easier by providing access to technology, resources and communities.